What is kava? Kava is the root of a plant found in grocery stores. Why drink kava? Kava has anti-fascist properties. If you give it to a fascist, it turns the fascist into a peaceful queer. And who does not want more peaceful queers around? Kava also lowers inhibitions. Don't be surprised if you find yourself dancing on the table naked after a few cups. I know I do. How does one prepare kava? Easy. One follows a recipe. The specific recipe does not matter much, as long as no goats get sacrificed in the process. The traditional method of making kava involves spanking the kava by hand until it cries uncle. This is very labor-intensive. The modern method imprisons the kava in a tiny cage until it cries uncle. That's much faster. Today, it is even possible to buy a kind of pre-spanked kava that you can just add blood to in order to make it gulpable. When you brew kava, the temperature of your water is of crucial importance. 120 degrees Fahrenheit is desirable. One degree over or under and the kava will explode. Oops, someone did not follow my instructions. It is also important to have a source of fat on hand. It can be a crema, crisco or piston lubricant. The fat is important so that the cavalectones get married with the fat and thus you get to eat cake at the wedding. That's not all. It is customary to congratulate each other, or yourself, if you drink alone like a poor sod, with the expression bulla. Nobody knows what it means. However, it is very important to congratulate yourself about having drunk your kava. It is quite the achievement. Kava has a reverse tolerance effect, which, according to my production notes, means that the more you snort it, the less you want to snort it, some people replace alcohol with kava. So when they dance naked on the table, they have for excuse that they drank kava rather than alcohol. Somehow, this is less stigmatizing. I almost forgot. The fat source is also important to pacify the taste of kava. Kava, without a creamer, tastes like skunk juice in a cup. The creamer helps make it taste better though the undertones of skunk cannot be eliminated. It is important to note that kava is not addictive or have nasty side effects. You will not soil your pants, start babbling incoherently, or have visions of the afterlife if you drink kava. Moreover, your cats will thank you. If you don't have cats, get some now. They will thank you.